I want to get into your life story, but I, I want to talk about these bioluminescence plants first. <laughs> it looks like something out of a movie. Well, there's all these cool things that will be possible in 10 or 20 years. Like, like what? And you're like, well, you know, you could take human skin cells and merge them with octopus DNA, and then, you know, octopus can actually change its color. So you can make a human skin cell be able to change its color and camouflage itself, kind of like the predator. And so for more than two decades, you know, I was, I was aware that these capabilities would be evident. It was a serendipity. I met Ben Lamb. Uh, he was uh, just getting started with a startup called Colossal. Colossal is kind of famous for bringing back the dire wolf. I mentioned uh, to him, hey, it'd be really cool if we could do glow-in-the-dark plants and, you know, let's, let's think this out. And he's like, I want to do that too. You had mentioned some early detection systems that these plants could be used. Yeah, for. sentinel plants. So if you're a miner in a mine and natural gas is building up, it's a silent killer. It, it explodes and, and so it's terrible. So they have to always detectors and that's why they had the canary coal mine, this type of thing. So imagine a plant, a cave moss or something, and it doesn't glow unless there's methane and when it does it glows red. Oh, the sentinel plant, right? And you can use this for military applications, for industrial applications, for environmental applications. When you think, I am Charles Hoskins and you are Sean Ryan, we are that. If you get too caught up in who you are, then it becomes exceedingly difficult to have empathy. Well, when you disassociate, you, for the first time ever, give up on the idea of just exclusively you. So disassociation is, is kind of like a, a, a psychedelic shortcut. It's all the things you've done, everything you've accomplished. You know, we're proud of the things we do. This room is filled with the things you've done and the people that you've met. And this idea that it could all just disappear and it could all be gone, you know? But on the other hand, if you don't mind these things, then none of this around you controls you. I'm seeing the same things on DMT as these guys over here, and we're both sharing an altered state of consciousness. We're not imagining it because I never talked to him beforehand, so why did he see the same thing I saw, the whole DMTL thing? But if consciousness is kind of like a global thing and you're changing your state of consciousness, you're retuning your antenna to a different frequency, you're seeing something now, right? Okay, so maybe consciousness works this way, or maybe it's just an emergent property of the brain and it's completely encapsulated there and that is what it is. What do you think? Everybody's got rites of passage, and the problem with America in the non-military traditions is we let them go. And that's what keeps it fun, you know? Uh, Steve Jobs did this with AI, you know? Yeah, there was a DARPA program called Kalo in 2003 to 2008. It was a cognitive assistant that learns and organizes. And he literally got weekly reports on the things that were happening there, because the guys who were running it were the guys who ended up creating Siri. They were basically like talking about this idea of like an intelligent agent, and this is in 2003 this intelligent agent that would basically know everything about you and it'd be your companion, you'd talk to it, and it's like a personal assistant. Well, obviously it was fantasy, they didn't have the technology there, but the guys learned an enormous stuff and they spent hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars to de-risk all this technology. So the minute that they finished, they went and created a small company called Siri and then Steve instantly bought them and brought them into the guts of Apple. <laughs> Last year at our conference, we had a small search company called Siri. And no, Apple they're not in the search area. What they're are they in? How would you describe it? They're in the AI area. So he was watching that, and he knew roughly when to invest to bring yeah. an intelligent agent in. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. 
And uh, every great entrepreneur has developed that sense. Very interesting. Does crypto overtake the current system eventually? We think that crypto and traditional finance will eventually fully merge and the technology will underpin uh, any tradable asset. What was it you were, you were looking for solar? All the alien stuff. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about the alien stuff. Oh God, people love aliens. Let's move into the bullet ants. And I said, okay, well, will it kill me? And they say, no, it's actually weird. It's designed not to kill you. It just makes it hurt like hell and it incapacitates you for a bit. But then the next day, it's like nothing happened. That's interesting.